Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come here. Right here, honey. Right here. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. There you go. Good dog. Whoo, that was dicey. We just came down that. Around this lip right here. Down that chute. I've been trying for an hour to get to the bottom of this canyon. Just finally did it. Hoping I can get up over there and get up onto those benches across and hopefully find something. All right. I've been hiking for a couple hours. This is rough country. I am way out in the middle of nowhere. I've spent several hours crossing that canyon over there and I got another big canyon over here. I'll show it to you. I'm far enough out here that, man, if you know where I'm at, you already know this area, but there's big flats out here on this other side and there's just no way it's too late in the day for me to be able to find a way off this canyon up the other side and hit those flats. So that's a hunt for another day. It's cool. And I'm, I'm looking on Onyx. There's no road access to any of that over there. So it looks like a really good area. And I finally got an antler over here. It looks like an older one, maybe. It looks like a big two with a hooked, with a hooked eye guard. Let me show you. Okay, so right over the top of right there. See that white thing, right? Let me get it towards in the center of the screen. Right there, dead center of the screen. Look at this country that I'm in. It's just nasty, canyony, but there is deer sign, not a lot, but always consistently I'm on deer trails, droppings. And so it's just the type of area where there's not a lot of ant there's not gonna be a lot of antlers. There's not gonna be a lot of deer out here, but there's enough. And it just has the feel of big old deer, the country that big old deer would hide out in. So I got maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll go over there. But uh Let's go down here and look at this antler. It looks like a big, big uh, two-point. So we'll go see. All right, there's the first look at it. It's still about, I'm going to say, 80 or 90 yards away, but it's dead center of the screen. You can see it's going to be a big two if that's what it is. I just keep seeing the eye guard like it's hooked, and I'm just kind of glassing up here trying to find the other side, hoping to find it. It's just this bench right here. And you'd think that if a buck was down there, he'd stay just stay in a spot like that long enough to shed both sides. So, good chance. I mean, I'm, this is the type of place where I'm just not that worried about if I find something. Chances are nobody's been in here picking up the other side. So, I got good chance of matching stuff up. I drove quite a ways. And uh, I'm actually on the edge of where I was last week. This is kind of as far as I got in when I got in here and realized that there was a road that would get me closer than I was I took that road today so that I could start where I left off last week and get back into this country but the more I realize how big and rough and rugged this country is this is going to be like I said I don't expect that I'll get out here and find a ton of antlers because there's just it's so rough and rugged and but it's the type of area that you might find I don't want to make you guys sick walking on it's the type of area that you might you might find a huge one which is what we're looking for, right? It's the big ones, the big ones. All right, let me spin you around. I'm gonna pause it for just a second so you don't get seasick. I don't know, should we go over there and try to get a picture of it or should we, before Honey finds it or should we just wait and see what she does? It's a big, heavy antler. See it over there? Let's just see what she does. Sorry, this is, I mean, everything's like this out here. There's no easy way to get anywhere. She hasn't found it yet. I'm not going to say anything. Let's see, the wind is blowing. Ah, it's blowing this way. It's blowing right to left, so she's on the wrong side to wind it.
Oh, it's got a big old hook. There she is. Bring it here. Look at that cool buck. Nice job. Good girl. There's a good pup. You sure were slow to find that one. Holy cow. Look at the hook. You want to talk about Captain Hook. There's a gnarly old nasty look. Oh my gosh. That's a, man, that's a three or four pound antler. Look at that. I, good girl. Good dog. Oh man. That's a cool buck. You see what I'm saying? This is what this place feels like. When you find one, it's going to be like, oh my gosh. Hooked eye guard. Man, I don't think I've ever seen a cheetah with that much mass on it. Holy crap. Find them up, honey. Find oh, I think I see the other side. Is that an antler right over there? Right. I think that's an antler right there. We might have a match. Let me get a picture of this one. And let me put the binoculars on that one. All right, so here's this one. And that is, it's got to be the match. I got a bit, because I can just, from the mass on it. I can't believe I didn't glass that one up from up there above. I sat here and glassed this as I was chatting you with, I mean, talking to you on the video. Let's see if Honey does a little bit better on this one. Can't tell. Oh, yeah, this one's definitely got the same mass on the other side. Giant mainframe, too. Look at that thing. Let's see what. Watch, 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 watch. Boom. Bring it here. What are you doing? Holy cow. Good girl. Look at the mass. Good dog. Good doggy dog. Good girl. Go find another one. Find another one. Go find another one. Hey, where are you going? Leave it here. I think she's getting tired. Good girl. Good girl. Holy cow, look at this. Look at this buck. I mean, yeah, crappy genetics. You don't want that buck breeding your does, but he's out here where he's probably not. But look at the mass. Look at the mass on that buck. Holy cow. Let me get a couple pictures of this, and I'll see if I can set the camera up and show you how he looks. All right. Let me see... See. Look at this buck. Look at that. Holy cow. Like I said, this is this is the kind of crazy buck you'd think would live out here. Just an old granddaddy buck. He's got a cool hook on both of his beams. I don't know if you can see that. Both of the eye girl guards curl in. That massive hook cheater on them. Mass all the way to the tips. All the way to the tips on both of those bladed out on the top of that one. See that? Look at that cool buck. I tell you what. That's why I hike all day. And <laughs> I, told, I told two people today that I was coming out here to find a big set of antlers that I just knew was laying out here. There it is. There it is. I actually saw somebody at the bank and I said, uh, I'm going out to pick up a, well, I'm not going to go find any antlers today. And I started to walk out and then I said, no, I'm not going to jinx myself. I'm going out to find a big set today. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I love it. I love it. Tell me that that's not worth walking all day for multiple days. I've been out here multiple days looking for stuff like that. So let's see if we can't find some more. I, look at that. I don't think I've ever seen mass like that, that far up on a beam on a buck. I mean, no, that, that set doesn't score. Shoot, that score, buck probably wouldn't hit 120, 130, something like that. He just isn't big, but uh, he is cool. He's going to sit about like that. He's going to be, you know, he's going to be 20, gosh, 27, 28 probably right there. Be my guess with that hook cheater. All right. Hey, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. This is what I do. You know, I have a passion, love for finding sheds. I like hunting, but this is what I love. I love finding the sheds. And if you like shed hunting, then uh, you'll like my channel. I don't push sponsors. I don't make it one product placement 
uh, ad after another. It's just me, the dogs, sometimes a buddy or two out finding sheds. And if you like that sort of stuff, subscribe to my channel and uh, comment. Tell me what you guys like, what you'd like to see, and tell me what you think of a buck like that. How'd you like? What would you do if you had the limited entry tag and you saw a buck like this? Would you would you notch your tag on a buck with that big, heavy, gnarly mass, or would you go for a typical? Tell me what you think. Leave a comment below. Let's go find some more. All right. Just Honey and I today. It's Saturday the next day. Just wanted to show you how big this country is out here. I'm going to kind of document. I'm a, Again, like I said yesterday... Let me turn this around so you don't get seasick, maybe. This is the type of country where I come in knowing I could put in 15, 20, 25 miles and not find anything. But if you find something, it's probably going to be cool. So I'm going to... I'm gonna, so I'm headed the way I showed you over here. The, that country I was in yesterday, you guys know I spend a lot of time in the canyons. I love the canyons. I love the rims and the ledges and that stuff. That was some of the nastiest canyons. Not because they were deep, but because they were simply, it was all ledges. There was no way to get up or down. I did some sketchy stuff yesterday, both, both times crossing that one canyon. The spot that I want to get to today was another nasty canyon over from that. I simply didn't have the time uh, to try and tackle that. I barely got back to the truck before dark anyway. But what I'm, what I'm going to do, typically these canyons in this area are less ledgy, ledgy the further you get to the mouth of them. And so I'm coming in from the mouth side of these canyons hoping that I can cross the one and get up onto the other and then work my way up that bench that I was seeing yesterday. That's the plan for today. It's going to be a lot of miles, but if we can get in there and find one, you just never know what it's going to be. Here's a cool thing. So, a buddy of mine, Bridger, has another year off that buck I found yesterday. If he gives me permission, I'll show you a picture of it or maybe even... We'll try to get some video of it. But uh, here we go. Look how big this country is. And it's just mile upon mile upon mile upon mile of this. So I'll be doing a lot of glassing in this lower stuff. There's not a lot of deer sign, but there is some. So we'll be back in a little bit. Still walking these bowls, trying to stay high enough to glass, so we get to walk, walk a lot of these ledges like this. This one's not quite as dicey as some, but just to give you an idea, what we're hoping to do is be able to get around here and get up on top so I can keep glassing this low stuff. Starting to get into more deer sign. Some of it fresh, a lot of it old, but there ought to be some sheds in here. <laughs> Look at this, good girl. Ah, didn't even get a chance to get that one on video for. Honey had it, good girl. Good dog, good dog, he got one. Old chocker four, double eye guard. Oh yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Got another big valley out here in front of me. Another big bench out there. We're going to be walking. Nice to walk up on one. I love that everything out here has some sort of character to it. The double eye guard. Good job, honey. Good girl. Coming in with the antler. Good girl. So see, here's, here's a fresh track this morning. Some old tracks here. You can see Honey's picking up some scent, so. 
you look out here in front of me and see if I can't see a buck going away. I don't think it's like minutes old, but uh, more and more deer sign we see. The further back in here I get, more chance of more of them. Let's do it, let's do it. Let's check this out. See that? Curious if you guys know what that is. <laughs> Look at that. Leave me a comment if you know what that is. I know what it is. Okay, here's the problem. See that canyon right there? I'm about 90% certain that right there in that little draw is an antler. It looks like I can see an eye guard and I think three points. I can see a game trail. If you see that game trail right there. So there's a good chance that there's a game trail down off. Let me see if I can't get a, another angle at it and verify. But I think there's an antler down there. Well, you know, we're working our way down the canyon. Look at that cool rock. Triple arch. It's pretty cool. It'd be cool if we could find a shed or two on this trail. I can figure out where it drops off. Anyway, go down there and see if we got an antler. All right, so I videoed, showed you from up there. We came down that eyebrow of a trail all the way down. I told you I could see an eye guard and three points. <laughs> Woo, I'm excited. This is. Exactly what I thought it was. I'm trying to keep honey there. I want to show you guys this one before she gets to it. Look at that. I garden three points because he's a big three. Looks like a hard white. Uh -oh. Wind's at my back, so I'm. Oh. Good girl. Bring it here. Good doggy. Good girl. Good dog. Look at that tank. That's got to be. That's the same buck. Good dog. Good girl. Good girl. That's the same buck from yesterday. Got to be. He doesn't have the hook cheater on that side. But look at that forky of the, on the top and the mast in the middle and the hooked eye guard. Oh, we got to go up and down this dry right here. See if we can't match him up again. I think... That's the same buck from yesterday. Either way, it's not a hard white. It's a little chalky on that side. But how's that spot from there into the thick grass right here? I couldn't see the antler coming along here till I got close. I'm surprised. It's just, you know, it comes down to when you have the experience of knowing what the reflection of light is on an antler. I mean, that's what it comes down to. If you want the tip, it just, it's different. Light hits an antler differently than it hits wood or anything else. Oh, I'm pumped, pumped. That's why we came out here. Maybe another year off him. There she, good girl. There she goes again. Bringing one in hot. Good girl. Good dog. That's a good pup. Another big two. Huh. Seems to be a theme out here. Bucks not having all their points on the mainframe. Good girl. Good dog. Good girl. Let's go find some more. Go find another one. Find another one. All right, I am home and I have them all together here. I was thinking that uh, might have had Another single off of this buck from earlier when before he started regressing and getting down to be uh, just a big two point. But I'm not sure. I'll let you guys tell me what you think. So, buddy of mine, Bridger, I think has three years off of this buck. And I will put a video, a picture 
of the last set that he found right here. But just because of, because this one had this little tip like that, and that one had that little tip like that, when I saw that, and I saw just this crazy mass across this, I mean, mass that you can't get your fingers around there, and this one too, and this one, just, that's actually got more mass than these ones. I thought, well, shoot, in the same area, what are the chances that are being two bucks with the same, you know, the same look like that? But, so what would have happened? This would have been, you know, a year or two before that. But the thing is, it doesn't have that swoop in the beam like that, like this one does. The eye guard's not curled. It's just similar genetics on that fork, that forky side there, and just crazy mass like you find in some of them desert bucks. Uh, not, not the same buck, but still a cool find. I wish I could have matched him up, but big old heavy, nasty, gnarly desert buck. Well worth the hike. You tell me, do you agree? Not a match?